so happy you're here with me today. Before we dig in, I just want to ask you to help me a little bit. As I know, there are a few people that are following me that do not speak Romanian, but I don't know how useful. I'm still questioning and like wondering if I should carry on with the English videos. So please let me know what you think. Let me know if it's helping you, because if it's helping you, of course, I'll carry on. But in the same time, I want to be wise with my time. So I would really, really appreciate it and I won't get upset, I promise. If it was okay up to now, but maybe now your schedule or just life got in the way, so you're not really getting to listen to my videos, or maybe they were helpful, or they were interesting, or they were okay, but not anymore, that's completely fine. Just please help me and uh, let me know what you think. So, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, as you probably saw from the video's title, today we're going to talk about the Chosen. <laughs> uh, have you heard about the Chosen? That's one of the questions that many times I ask Christian friends or Christian people that I meet, whether they're from America, England or Spain or whatever. My question is normally, have you seen the Chosen? And then I'm waiting for their answer. Anyways, today uh, we'll talk a little bit about the series, the TV series, The Chosen. Not so much my opinion, although you'll get it from what I talk about. But I thought I'll share a little bit how I got to work in translating for The Chosen in season one and two. And a few lessons, life lessons if you want, that I took from um, the series. Not necessarily from the series as much from the series, of course. <laughs> but I'm saying what I want to talk today about is not necessarily the series from the, the lessons from the series as much as the lessons from the creation of the series. So, let me ask you as well, have you seen The Chosen? If you haven't, uh, please look in your phone's shop and, or store and uh, you can uh, look The Chosen and you should have the app coming up. It's a free app and you can watch the, the seasons there. Uh, also, Angel app or... The website that I will leave it uh, down below. You can access it if you want and watch it. It's completely free. Obviously, you can donate, you can help, but that's a different area of the discussion. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you can see me wearing the the chosen T-shirt. Uh, it says Volunteer Translation Team. This was a T-shirt that we received, I think, last summer. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was last summer two summers ago it's a bit confusing because you know it's been three years since the pandemic hit but it still feels like two years ago two two summers ago i don't know it's really weird in my head anyways um my whole team the romanian team we received this t-shirt for free from the angel studios and it was just a way of saying thank you because we volunteer in translating so how did i get into translating for the shows basically i've seen the first series after it all came out, I actually saw it not long before the second series was getting ready and was being filmed. So I watched the first season by myself, Sam was not interested, I'll explain soon enough why, and I loved it. It was just, it was just what I needed in some way. I was in a very dry season with God, and it wasn't so much that, um, who knows what was happening? It was just a dry season, you know, when you're going through seasons where you feel like God is far away, although you didn't do necessarily anything bad, or uh, it's not like God is punishing you. It's just a season of growth, really. And um, so I watched the series, the first season, and I was just really, really encouraged. A lot of, I mean, I know, and we'll talk a little bit about it, it's not the Bible. It does not replace the Bible. It's just a series based or inspired, if you wish, from the stories of the Bible, the Gospels, representing Jesus' life, because it's basically the first Christian series um, about Jesus' life. But it was just really, really encouraging. So after I watched the first series, I also wanted to donate. So I looked on the website, I saw you can pay it forward, and you could give a small amount or bigger amount, 
and this is not to show off, it's just to show that whether you're modest in your living, you can always pay forward or give forward somehow, one way or the other. Anyways, and then I just got my phone. I mean, I've got these things where I'm not really embarrassed at writing to people. And I was so excited about this series and I so much wanted to kind of give my fish and loaves because basically there's a lot in this series about the fish and loaves and if you listen Dallas which is the director of the series if you listen his testimony how God really brought this season out of his bigger biggest uh bankruptcy if you want or failure or however you want to call it and it just shows that Romans 8 28 is always available no matter your job, whether you're a film director or a Sunday school teacher or just a mom staying at home. So as I was so excited and I really wanted to get involved somehow, um, I picked my phone up and I was on Instagram and I was searching for the series and then I saw that Dallas was the director, although I already listened to his testimony on YouTube. And I accessed his profile and I wrote a message. I wrote a message about how impacted I was, that I was Alex, that I was from Romania, I was mom of two, and that I really, really wanted to get involved somehow. And if they needed me to, to work in any ways, like translation work, I was um, available to do it. I never expected an answer back. I mean, the series was not as popular then as it is now. After season two, it kind of exploded. But after season one, it was still getting known. I mean, it was getting there, but it wasn't the big boom that it happened after the second season. So guess what? I received an answer back. And uh, Dallas said that, you know, he's happy. And he let me know that as they were preparing to film the second series, I could help him translating it there. He let me know where I could go, the people that I could contact. He told me he was twice in Romania, by the way. <laughs> and that was that. Fast forward a bit of time. You could obviously see on social media that they started filming season two. Uh, they Somehow in this time, I just can't remember exactly how I got into it, but I know I access the translation group. There is a translation group on Facebook. And um, that was open, by the way. And I asked there, I'm from Romania, I would love to translate in Romanian. And the coordinators, which at the moment was uh, one of the directors of the Angel Studios, um, he told me what I have to do. I, I don't even remember the whole process, but it was basically following directions. And I remember I got to translate the first episode. And it was all by myself in the Romanian team. I felt so um, energetic, excited, honored in the same time. Also, we did get to see some of the uh, episode. Basically, we got to see it beforehand. So we got to see, it was really bad quality, but we got to see the behind scenes. Or not really the behind scenes, but we got to see the series before it was, the, the episode before it was released. So we could do a better translation, obviously, seeing the context. In the meantime, they improved on the process of translation. And yeah, I was so excited and I was so happy and so honored and just really, really happy. Uh, what happened is the time passed. I think I translated the first three episodes by myself and then other people joined the team. So after that, we translated together. Uh, I became the leader of the team. I was keeping basically the connection between the team, the coordinators, and then the coordinators were keeping the communication between us and the producing team. It was such a good season of my life. I got to know some really amazing people. Uh, I got to know the coordinators, which you amazing women did. If you're watching this, by the way, you did and you're doing such an amazing and big job like three coordinators to deal with all the languages and the leaders from all the languages they did a big big they had a big task on their shoulders and they did it brilliantly i got to meet the members of the romanian team uh, and what a blessing what a blessing they became and 
yeah, it was just like, it was really weird because we never met before that. But then we started working together and we slowly felt like we became a family. At least that's what I felt. And we actually met with the first, we were four people that worked mainly on season two and one. And then the fifth one came along towards the end. And now there are a few more new people in the team, but I'll explain to you what happens with season three. But basically four of us, the four initial members, if I could say like that, we got to meet. They came to Abayulia in the summer of 2020. And we had, uh, well, two days a day, all of us together. And then two days, only three of us, because um, one of the girls had to, could only come for a day. But it was such a good time and such a wonderful way in which God just brought some strangers put them together and then hope they are friends for life now. So basically we retranslated season one after we finished with the season two because season one was a bit like chaotic translated and that was just because everything was new, the way they started the season was new, it's the first series that was being filmed by the people watching. <laughs> Basically, the they were donating, and that's how they would manage to film new episodes. So um, it was everything new for them. It was everything new for us. And the first season, first time around, was translated just by a random way of translation. But then on season two, they put teams together. Each language had a leader. And then they would just find a common ground to make sure that there is a continuity in translation, in names, in places, in expressions, and everything that involves translating. So um, we basically worked on translating season one and season two. And then when it comes to season three, um, we don't know what's going to happen. Just because there is a new partnership of the chosen and... It just happened and they themselves don't know yet what happens, what's happening. But for sure, the series will be translated in different languages. We just don't know exactly who's going to work on it and the process, if we are still going to be involved as volunteers or not. But that doesn't really, well, it matters and it doesn't matter. But I'm feeling even if I will not translate and we won't get to translate from now on, I still feel honored that I could give my love some fish. And now, um, watch please do watch dallas testimony of um how god just took his biggest failure and prepared him for for the chosen which kind of boomed as you can see now you can see it on netflix if you're in the us probably in the uk as well i'm not sure uh there's transatlantic sh um, planes and you can watch it on the plane there's like a lot more access people are finding out about the chosen and the most important thing because that's really the main goal people are hearing about Jesus and um, I heard a lot of bad reviews even from Romanians uh, that they do not agree with the series that it's worldly and it's not Christian and blah 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 and blah 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 but you know what people are being touched by God through this series people are converting people are coming back to God People are finding out that God is not that old man that sits in heaven and is ready to smack somebody over the head. But it's actually a God who sacrificed and gave his only son for us. That's how much he left. Yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, please watch it. Basically, that's kind of all I wanted to let you know and talk to you about in this video. To kind of pick to your interest to go and watch it if you haven't already. And just basically to, to just go and do what calls you to do. I mean, maybe you feel called to write a text or send an email or make the phone call. And it might seem impossible because the other person might never pick up. And it might never pick up. But you never know what can happen on the other side of your obedience to God. You never know. Uh, a new... The chosen if I can say it like that but a new a new big and amazing and boom project might happen um uh I don't know a life might be saved um 
house might be received, uh, um, a family might be born, I don't know. But basically, more than anything, through this video, I just want you to, to have the courage to go and step and do the thing that God is call, calling you to do. Um, I'm happy, I'm happy as I am, and I'm normally quite okay. I got to speak to quite a few big people just by having, daring to write a text or the email or the message. And uh, if you're trying out to, to, to write to that list, probably you're not going to receive a message because if we're talking about how many millions of people are watching it, of course he's not going to have the time to do that anymore. But so that's not the idea of this video, but the idea of this video is God might be calling you to write a text to your mom or dad or to your pastor or to your teacher or to a person you met 10 years ago or five years ago, or God might be prompting you to, to give the 10 pounds or the 100 euros or the 100,000 euros or 1 million euros. I don't know what God is telling you to do. And... But the idea is, what I've learned, I'm not that old, I don't consider myself that old, <laughs> but and I don't have them or as much experiences as other people do, but in life, what I decided a long, 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 long time ago is that I will prefer to try to think that it's God and it wasn't God and I'll fail, rather to regret, to know afterwards that it was God and regret that I never stepped out in faith. So I kind of took that for my life a long time ago and I never regretted. Yeah, sometimes it was just me. It was not from God. It was not. So maybe I lost a bit of pride, which was very good. Anyway, maybe made a bit of a fool of myself. So what? It's just me. Uh, but most of the time it was God. And sometimes I could see the other end. And I was amazed of how God and and the answer to my obedience that God brought and the way that he touched the people just through a simple, I don't know, a simple recording a video or a simple giving a phone call or writing a text. And um, other times I didn't get to see the other side, but that's the beauty of trusting God and walking by faith. So be encouraged, guys. Go and watch The Chosen. But most importantly... Don't be afraid to step out in faith and do what God called you to do. And you know what? I'll end up with this. I was speaking to somebody this past week and she was telling me that she has to take a big decision and she and her family and they don't know exactly the direction and to pray. And I said, I said of course, I pray and I did pray. But I told her something that I want to tell you as well. I've realized in my life, every time God called me to step out in faith, to make the phone call to, I mean, writing to Dallas was, was something little in a way <laughs> because I didn't risk too much, but there were other things where I risked, risked a bit more. But what I realized is that I was never 100% sure. I was maybe 90% sure of the thing that God was telling me to do or go or do or give. But I think that's normal and I think that's the way God wants it to be. Because I was thinking if I was to be 100% sure, I wouldn't need faith. I wouldn't need God because I knew that's how I have to do and that's what I have to do. So even if you're just 90% sure and you're, there's still a tiny little bit of doubt, that's okay. That doesn't mean it's not God. Um, so yeah, be blessed, guys. See you next time. And I hope you're encouraged. And yeah, I'm looking forward to hear the amazing God is doing through your acts of obedience and coming back to the chosen if you watched it let me know what you think if you haven't watched it yet go and watch it and come back and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time guys bye